looks not like this My brother and one of his friends decided to go fossil hunting and film quite a bit so I've put it together as an episode and at the end I'm going to show one of my favourite and first articulated ichthyosaur vertebrae that I ever found. It was a very lucky find and the bone quality is superb so if you want to make sure you see that stick around till the end of the video should be worth a watch. Here's the fossil hunt that my brother did. Just on our way down right now. Very slippy. It's just been raining. Nice wood there. There's another like sticking out the edge of there. Let's see if it's all there. No, it's not. The centre's gone. Still looks quite nice though. A negative of an ammonite just there. Completely pirateized. It's quite heavy. Another ammonite just sticking out. Oh, it's a double. There's two ammonites. One nodule. It's a nice find. Just walking up and down the beach to see if I can find anything. I'm not getting too close to the cliff because it's been raining and the mud and rocks are all falling down, so there's no point risking it for a few hour nights. Okay, so we've just been on the beach for about half an hour now. As you can see, it's very rough. But we have managed to get a few ammonites and a few nodules that will split open, so we'll check those. Shane's just over there looking for uh, a few ammonites. Okay, so we've got quite a few nodules here. We haven't tried to split any open yet, but you can see some ammonites along the edge of the nodules, but other ones like this don't have anything exposed, so we'll have to crack it open and see if there's anything inside. It's a partial Hildoceros. Unfortunately, the rest of it's gone. But the centre's still there, so it's not too bad of a find. There's a partial Bellum Knight on this nodule here. The rest of it's obviously snapped off due to the seas. The nodule bouncing about in between all the rocks. have a final check over these last few rocks, see if we've missed anything. A little piece of bone. It's quite water worn but it's always nice to find some. There's an ammonite in there. A few shells, fossilised alongside it. Keep that one in my pocket. Managed to find a few pieces of jet, so I'll show you those. These are the pieces of jet that I've managed to find. 
can see pieces like this. This is hard jet, so you'd be able to use this for jewellery. I'll scar this piece on a bit of sandstone. And as you can see, that's a light ginger colour. If it was cold, the scar would be completely black. I'm just going to try and split some of the nodules that we found earlier. See if there's anything inside. I'm pretty sure this one will have an ammonite in, so we'll uh, try and break it open. Nothing just yet. Okay, so you can just start to see the edge of the ammonite just there. So that one's quite hard to break open, so what we'll do is we'll take that one home and prepare it with the tools. Another nodule, there's nothing obvious protruding around the edge. We'll try and split, see if there's anything inside. Okay, so it's split perfectly in half. Let's just hope there's something inside. And there's nothing. Shane's found a few bits of jet, so he's going to show us. A few nice bits there. See the grain from the back. I finished splitting the ammonites and this is what I'm uh, left with, so we're gonna put these in our bags. We've got a few nice ones. And then these are just two partial hildies. Unfortunately, they're not complete, but Better than nothing. There's a nice waterfall coming down from the cliff, so I'll film that so you can have a look. Just here, poking out the edge. Huge chunk of fossilised wood here. Fossil shells covered in pyrite. There's been a harpostrus there sticking out the edge of the nodule, but unfortunately, it's uh, it hasn't been, pres been preserved well. Poking out the side of the shell there, heading off towards the fragment gun. Got a smaller bell right like just here.
the Dantisserus ammonites. Just been walking along and I found a little bit more jet, so I'll show you that now. Balaclava back on, it's freezing, but uh, I just found a bell night down here, so I'll show you. Found quite a few nodules, we're gonna split some on camera for you. Quite a few of them have ammonites in. and his friend got quite a few good finds unfortunately nothing really exciting regarding fossil reptile or reptile bones which is what I particularly look for and hope to find even though it's very rare and this find that I'm about to show I found a few years ago it's one of my favorite finds that I found whilst out with my dad it's pretty heavy to hold so I've carefully rested it on one of my hedges and then I'll film around it and we can have a little look just to begin, I thought we would have a look at just a single vertebra. I've shown quite a few of these before. This is also an ichthyosaur vertebra. So all the vertebra that I'm showing today are from ichthyosaurs, different specimens. You see here, this is where one of the ribs would attach and this is where one of the other ribs would attach and there would be a neural spine coming off the top. All these would be attached by ligaments. So that's a really nice quality chunky bone. And this here, you could think it might be from the tail of a, but it's actually part of a much smaller ichthyosaur. So here, the tiny little markings where the neural spines would attach. So if you look just at those compared to this one, you can just see the sheer size difference. And this isn't from a particularly big specimen by any means. And in comparison, here is the much bigger tail section. So I'll have a little film around now so we can see all of the bone quality close up and see all the individual vertebrae, there's paddle digits, there's ribs, a few ammonites here and there as well. It's a really, really interesting piece. I quite like leaving the ammonites in place. When my dad prepares the fossils, he enjoys leaving them there as well. Just tells a bit more of the story. So cool, well, in my opinion, that all sorts of different fossils, well, different creatures all fossilized together. It just gives you a picture of what the seabed was like at that time.
thank you for watching the video hope you enjoyed it that's one of my favorite ichthyosaur pieces and i will be uploading another video relatively soon see you in the next one